Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today's video is brought to you by W Energy. So I'm going to keep things short and sweet. W Energy is a clean energy drink that has no sugar, no calories, and comes in a variety of delicious flavors, including Galaxy Grenade and Dragonade. Not only does it give you no jitters and no crash, but it's chock full of vitamins and amino acids, which are great for you. Use promo code Pendragon for 10% off of your order and give it a shot today. And now, on to the video. Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today I am bringing you a whole new Let's Play. So today we're actually going to be doing a Hardcore Iron Man on the popular MMORPG, RuneScape. And I'm going to be playing in the RS3 area, so not the old school. I could do an old school eventually, but I already have an old school Iron Man that I've been having quite a bit of fun with. But um, a lot of people actually recommended that I do this. A lot of people really wanted to see a series made. And they thought it was going to be something pretty different. So, without further ado, since we're already on the screen, let's hop into the standard game. Yep, we'll continue on. No downside, join the Fresh Start World Spam if you wish to change your mind. I cannot join the Fresh Start because we are not going to be a member for the time being until I get myself a bond. But let us begin. Oh, we got a designer character first. So, I'm going to go for something that kind of resembles me for the most part. Uh, dark hair works. Let's go with... Uh, let's see. Something with long hair, but not like anything super wild. Let's go with this. No, let's go with this one. I kind of like the spikes. Uh, outfit style, let's see. Also want that to be red. What about random? Nope, that's changed its color too. Uh, no thank you. Let's go with... Kinda like this one, but I think I already do this one. Could go with this one. This one looks kinda like a hunter. I think we'll go with that one. And pants. Something basic. Uh, let's make it gray, because gray goes good with that. But brown might fit the colors better. Let's see what that looks like, just to wing it. No, let's go with black. And then the boots. Um, the boots, I know I want to make a darker color. Uh, we can just go red and kind of smash everything throughout. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And no facial hair needed. So, advanced play mode. We're going to decide Hardcore Iron Man. So we get to show off the Hardcore Iron Man badge. Includes all Iron Man rule modifiers, which is all of this stuff over here. So no player-to-player -player trades, limited access to event rewards, and multiplayer gameplay with Iron Man only. Mini games and bosses. Uh, death removes your Hardcore status, continuing as a regular Iron Man. So if we do end up dying and actually like having to basically start over as a regular Iron Man, I'm willing to continue the series if you guys want to see it. Uh, if not, we'll just end the series then. So let's set mode the Hardcore Iron Man and hop on in. Once we decide a name, of course. Um, I'm going to go with Hardcore Iron Man Pin Pro. Because, you know, Pen Dragon Projections. And let's go ahead and head on in. If it lets me, there we go. Uh, what is your experience with RuneScape? I have played very recently. Let's see if that impacts our starting area or not. And welcome to Birthorp. So this is where we're going to be starting it looks like. And it seems like we're going to have like basically the basic stuff from kind of like Tutorial Island. Or um, I believe it's Ashdown now or whatever. But let's learn about the activity tracker. We already understand that. 
so let's claim actually all of the admin stu advent stuff and see what we get so we cannot claim this present you see 50 oddments instead okay cool so let's just make our way through this really quick then and just get all of the oddments because apparently we can't even get magic note paper or anything or dummies I actually forgot that a lot of these items you actually can't get as a higher man. Which I guess it makes sense. Um, I did not claim that one apparently. No, I did. So let's claim this one. We are missing a lot of days. Because you know, fresh account and everything. But let's just go through it. Claim that. We're going to have so many oddments. Which I'm pretty sure it's just for cosmetics and such. So... Let's hurry our way through this. Okay, we can still get the notebook pa or the uh, the Christmas wrap papers at least, and whatever this is. Oh, it was just showing the animation. <laughs> we missed that last time apparently. So let's grab that and this. This is riveting gameplay footage right now, but of course you know we're kind of seeing what we can and can't grab. And go ahead and grab these. And that should be everything. Okay, cool. Anywho, now we can actually start the adventure. So we have a dagger starting off with. And I am a, a melee person, so that works for me. Uh, we can add these to our currency pouch. And that's not the Terrell. So what are you after then? Oh, I do not like the positioning of the, the layout here, but I guess it's okay for now. Uh, let's see, adventure or something to kill fortune and glory. Let's go for adventure. Come to the right place. I'm a slayer master. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Burthorpe is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and profit? Then slayer is the skill for you. Trolls are the real enemy in Burthorpe, but you'll need food and armor to survive against them. You, pre you should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventurer they sent me. Oh. That's not good. Just a dead adventurer there. Didn't bring armor. Didn't bring food. Don't be this guy. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. Alright. So we have the path called to adventure. Discover why the Birthord Imperial Guard needs your help. And we got five coins for it. So we are already hitting it big so far. We got the five GP off the bat. Uh, the nearest fishing spot is like to the south of us. Go catch and cook yourself plenty of cray crayfish or crawfish. We eat to live while fighting to trolls. Hi, I can read. To cook raw food when there's an range of bite, make fire burning logs. Okay, we know that one. So first chop lobster and tree near the crayfish. I'm also going to kind of play this um, in more of a let's play fashion because I understand there are people who might not know what RuneScape is. Or they might not have experienced this in a long time. So I kind of want to go through it slow, nice and easy. Um, show people how this goes and kind of give them some guides while I'm doing it. Anywho, uh, you'll need some me melee armor. A helmet at the very least. Once you have food, get ore from the mine southwest fierce. Make yourself a bronze helm, okay. Uh, tell me about Birthorpe. So Birthorpe is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Trolls to the north, wolves to the west, goblins in the east. And don't even get me started on the Guthic Stand Rabbits. We're in the eye of the storm, and it's the duty of the Order of the Slayer Masters to keep that bloodshot eye wide open. Alright, tell me about the trolls. Mountain trolls are hard as rocks, and half as smart. They're always hungry, but trolls don't just don't seem to understand we don't like being eaten. Trolls even name themselves after the first thing they eat, or the noise we make when they eat us. Trolls will eat literally anything, but people taste much better than rocks, and the mountains are mostly rocks. So when the trolls raid Birthorpe, the Imperial Guard makes sure to tr it's the trolls' last meal, or die trying. So why did the trolls eat the last action hero over there? Did he taste as bad as he smells? Ah uh, yes, the chosen one of many. I pulled him out of the cave as an example for the next adventure that came along. How's that working out for you? I'm not dead yet. Keep it up. You may even make a habit of it. Oh, I sure hope so. We're on a hardcore Iron Man, so... Uh, where's the nearest bank? You can bank your items at the bank booth to the southwest of me. Okay. And then you can ask for guidance, of course. So I need guidance. You can actually choose any of these tutorials. Um, I think I can do a slightly better job than it. But 
uh, basically, you know, your basic interaction, your camera rotation, all that fun stuff. But I like to use the middle mouse button for my camera needs and everything. And of course, I always play with Wazda on my left hand, but it is a click and point adventure. So it's a fun time. Uh, the game's welcome us to the minimap now, so you can actually left click on the minimap to travel as well. Makes it pretty easy. And I do know quite a bit about this game, uh, so if things do sound a little newbie, um, I apologize for that. But if things sound like I'm rambling too much, I'm just trying to give you guys the best possible experience here. So, anywho, let us make our way over here, because apparently we have started the woodcutting and fire making journey, so we need to chop a tree. Which we do, in RuneScape 3, we do get a variety of um, stuff on our tool belt already, which is pretty cool. The tool belt's something that's not in old school, but you basically get a whole bunch of different stuff that you can actually utilize, and some of it's members only. Um, some of it is not, but it's all these various tools and stuff that you could ever need. You can also get a watch, which is used only for um, clues with your sextant and everything. So your sextant, your chart, your watch. You used to have to keep those in your inventory when doing those coordinate clues, which we may get into those later. Anywho, uh, we are also doing the fish out of water here as well, so let us catch some crayfish. And I'll try not to make this video super long. Um, it might be a little longer this time just because the introduction, but just going to kind of give us a nice little fresh start and everything, you know, as HEIM Pen Pro. Uh, apparently we have to catch 12 of these crayfish, which we're catching them pretty fast. The cool thing about RuneScape 3 also is that it's very AFK. So you can literally just click somewhere and then just not have to click anymore. And the game even tells you you only need to click once. Um, this was, I believe, done to try to help against bots. And actually, like, you know, make things a little easier. Also, we gained our first, ever, first level in a skill. So now we actually are level 2 fishing. Which means we can catch uh, Davio. Hmm. In Davendale. So maybe it's Davio. Um, I believe that is actually in a in the tutorial, if I recall correctly. Like tutorial island kind of thing. But I've played this game before, so we're basically doing the tutorial here in Birthwarp instead. Um, looks like our fishing tutor is actually telling us, Nice catch, you take the fishing like a salmon to water. Talk to me if you'd like to know more about survival skills. And we might as well learn some more from him, so... If we talk to him, we don't have. Oh, he speaks. Why is his voice so quiet? Give me a moment here. The music's way too loud, first off. The voiceover, let's make it louder so you guys can actually hear the voices. Uh, turn down sound effects, turn down ambient sounds. And we have 142 songs unlocked because there were some that were mini games only. And some that are events as well, so we have all those unlocked automatically, which is cool. We don't have an abundance of farmland in these parts. This is better. So we fish a supplement with fresh fish. Care to learn how? Sure, let's learn how. Um, so you can get fishing bay, you can have to tell you about the skill, tell you about other survival skills, or tell you about the skills menu. Um it contains a variety of shops where you can buy and sell items. Uh, these are the shops the item, the shop is these are the items the shop is selling. You may need to scroll down to see more. So purchase an item, simply left click it. Uh, we do need thread. And to sell an item, you can actually do that from here, which is cool. Um, you basically don't get the same benefits benefits as selling things as regular players do. You don't get like um, just like an empty shop boost or something like that like if they're out of an item and you sell something I think you get more money if I recall correctly but let's take some of this bait take a pot and take take a bucket and oh we finished the wealth path by learning how to buy items and sell items to a shop that's useful 
Um, I will be trying to actually 100% on this account as well, by the way, so... If there's anything that I cannot do as an Iron Man, that will be skipped. But we will definitely try our best to make our way through here in the easiest way. Uh, let's go ahead and knock out one more path, and then we'll call it there for the episode. So, with logs, you can just right-click and light them, or you can select craft, and you can use a tinderbox, a knife, or add to a bonfire. The game wants us to light a fire, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we can left-click the raw cray crayfish in your backpack to select it, then left-click on the fire to cook it. So let's go ahead and do that. And, oh, we, we actually successfully cooked our first couple. That's pretty good. And there goes a the cooking level. So, I'm not sure which skill I want to get to 99 first. I know the easiest ones are combat nowadays. Also, wow, cooking's going by fast early levels. I forgot how fast it was. But, um... Yeah, okay, we might just want to do cooking for our first 99 at this point. Just based upon how well we're doing in the first episode. We just got 12 in a row. So, that's impressive. Uh, we can learn about banking and everything. I have enough food, now I need to mine enough resources to smith my armor. Okay, so the game's leading us to the next part, but I'm going to show you guys what we unlocked at level 5. So we can make chocolate milk, which remembers only uh, Heim Crab Potato and Diamond Heim. That's a Dungeoneering thing. And we can cook herring now. So that's useful. And we actually have two achievements done out of 3,160. So of course, Birth Thorpe with a slow stone being activated and the cooking. There's other achievements, a tracker, all that fun stuff. On my main, I actually have over 2,000 achievements done, um, so I do know a fair bit about this game. Anywho, I'm going to actually end things here. So next time on RuneScape 3 Iron Man, or Hardcore Iron Man, we will make our way over to the mining area and see just what awaits us. This has been Pendragon, and I'll see you guys then.